What's up everybody? My name is Rob Simmons and welcome to my channel. After taking a break from it for a couple weeks, I am back with a very far musical. This time with Act 1, Part 5. And before I get into this, I do want to ask you guys something. Are you enjoying my reactions to this show? Because I would love to keep reacting to this play at least in the end of Act 1 because every, every part I react to, I am laughing out loud. This show right here, I'm saying show a lot. It's just hilarious and brilliant. I would love to keep reacting to it. And if you guys are enjoying my reactions, that makes it so much better because this is me sharing my experience with you guys. So let me know in the comments. Please let me know in the comments, excuse me, whether you're enjoying this, my reactions to this show. And also let me know what you think of this, of this show. All that being said, let's see what Act 1, Part 5 has in store. Off. Fools! They're all fools. They think they're safe. They think they're back for another fun year of learning shenanigans at Hogwarts. Little Girl do they know the danger that's lurking right under their noses. Or under your turban. On the back of their heads. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Probably does the end there too. It's a necessary precaution. For if they knew that you lived, that when Harry Potter destroyed you, your soul lived on. Yes, that when my body was destroyed, I was forced to live in the forbidden forest, eating bugs and mushrooms and ugh, unicorn blood. Until I found you and let you attach yourself to my soul. Yes, nobody must know any of that. Now, Clara! <laughs> some water. <laughs> now, Clara, pour it in my mouth. <laughs> That's exactly what I mean right there, by Hilarious and Brilliant. Yes, 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 I'm done with the water. <laughs> you must not have any more foul ups like tonight in the great hall. I'm sorry, my lord, you sneeze. I know that. <laughs> Get me some Nasonex, you swine. <laughs> 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 King. Okay, just relax with the Dark King, okay? I, I watch you wipe your butt daily. <laughs> call me Voldemort, we're there. <laughs> We've reached that point. <laughs> yes, yes, my Voldemort. Now, Quirrell, get us ready for bed. Well, we how must you be do well that? rested if we wish to kill Potter. Tonight in the Great Hall, he was so close, I could have touched him. Revenge is at my fingertips, Quirrell. I can taste it. It tastes like cool mint. That's how this <laughs> Yes, excellent. Well, uh, I thought that was a potion at first. Good night, Quirrell. Cool mint. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> gotta roll over. I can't sleep on my tummy. I always sleep on my back. I have back troubles. It's the only way I'm comfortable. You roll over right now, or I'll I'll eat your pillow. You'll be having a dream that you're eating a giant marshmallow, but really you'll wake up and your favorite goose feather pillow will be missing. Fine, we'll compromise. We'll sleep on our side. Okay, I guess I can do this. Oh, good night. Good night, Clara. <laughs> That's got to say, that is great makeup for Voldemort. <laughs> <laughs> How long have those rugs been on that chair? I, I think 
they're from last night. I just put them there for now. Well, are you planning on putting them in a hamper? What's your plan, ladies? <laughs> I figured I'd just leave them there for now and maybe put them away in the morning, okay? Uh, no! No! No, that's not okay! I can't go to sleep knowing that well, there are the dirty clean, clothes free. on that chair. The chair's going to start to smell like dirty clothes. Well, I promise I'll put them away in the morning. You put them away right now! I command you to shut up and fold them at least! Make it into a neat pile! There should be a spell for that. If we're going to be in this situation for a while, we're going to have to learn to live with each other. Now, I've been single for all of my life, and I have some habits, and sometimes I leave laundry around. Well, I believe that everything has its place. Muggles have their place. Mudbloods have their place. And so do your clothes. Namely, a dresser. Well, aren't we an odd couple? You <laughs> <laughs> sleep on your tummy. You won't sleep on your back. We're quite a kooky couple, you'll agree. <laughs> hands and fingers. And yet. They're just about as different as anyone can be. You like plotting a garden, and I like plotting to kill. You think that you should rule the world? I think books are a thrill. Sipping tea with a pirate spell. Pushing people in is fun as well. I like holding all of my time. Hey, that's a surprise. Yes, yes followers. That's eaters. That's eaters. you and me. We're different, different as can be. Oh, I love a great harmony. You're a sissy, a twat, a girl. I'm the darkest of lords. <laughs> I'm the brightest professor here. I've won several awards. My new world's about to unfold. You got me. I'll kill him this time through and through. Or you might just give him another tattoo. Then you must agree when you look at you and me. We're different, different as can I'll rise again and I'll rule the world. But you must help me renew. Oh, when our plan succeeds, reveals part of that world. <laughs> when I rule the world, I'll have snakes. And gorgons and werewolves of the dumb dumb animals and giants and desperals and all my gambits. When I rule the world. <laughs> nice of a laugh. That's it. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was one of the best parts yet. The actors for Cruel and Voldemort, they surprisingly have great chemistry together on stage. And I've been a Harry Potter fan since I was a little kid, like a lot of other HB fans. And I never once thought how Voldemort would eat or drink or use any snacks. Well, on the back of Cruel's head. <laughs> and they portrayed that brilliantly. And when Kroll was drinking that green, that green fluid, I thought it was like a magic potion story-wise because they quickly zoomed into that. But it turns out, I guess it was just mouthwash. The reason I thought that was because, well, they quickly cut to that as if it were important. And I also got to give some credit to the songwriters because, <laughs> because, I, like the show, the song was just hilarious and brilliant. In fact. I think it's safe to say that this show has potential to be on Broadway because if I had a chance to see it live, I would do it in a heartbeat. And again, I hope you guys are enjoying my reactions to the show and I want to keep doing it to the end of Act 1. And all that being said, I hope we can see this duo, duo again in the show in the future. But let me know in the comments what you think of Act 1, Part 5. Thank you for watching this.